reality. There's a simple but at the same as what seems to be a complicated thing really is that there is no real process to writing songs. It's it's different for every person I think. Me, I occasionally have things come through me and they, I kind of get inspired to write something. Sometimes I've experienced something in the past or I've seen something that's affected me and so emotionally it doesn't necessarily come out there and then. Now and again people say would you write me a song and that that's happened a few times and uh, at some point during this I'll probably play some of those songs for you so you can hear what happens but I think to try and help people to start the process first thing is you just have to tell the truth as you see it that's the most important thing when you're telling the truth there's a tone in your voice right i know actors can do all this and we really find them as being they're really convincing us because they've really got so into the part that they're trying to tell the truth but of course if it's something they actually believe in it really comes across and it's i suppose it's the same for us who write songs me, I like to make people happy because when I make them happy, I feel safe because I'm only quite small really, I'm only a child inside and people say, I'm not sure what you mean and we'll talk about that in, in more of a process at another time but for now, I think what's important, people get stuck people get stuck in the songwriting and say, I can't, I can't write anything what I'm trying to do to help people is to say, well, look, why don't you write a card to somebody you work with and then write the same card about the same thing, but to your mum or to a relative and you'll write it slightly differently and then write it to say your partner or your, and you'll write it differently again. And what happens is somewhere in that writing process depending on what you're writing on but generally if you write to anybody about anything there are what i call keystones and it's a keystone line and the keystone line is the thing that the song leads up to and the song leads away from and once you've got that keystone line then you can write things about the thing that you're writing about so if you're going to say i love her you can write a hundred different things you can say I was walking down the park and the sun came out and I thought to myself, I love her. And that's what I call a keystone. That's not how everybody does it. That's not. And there are, as I said a few minutes ago, there are no rules. For me, tell the truth, come from here. If you're writing something humorous, try and write something that you've actually experienced. I could tell you some stories that are really funny that I've experienced. And if I put them into a song, everybody goes, oh, it's really good that. And if you're talking about having your heart broken, then go to that place. Go to that place when you're 14 or 15. And she said, or he said, I'm chucking you. It's an incredible point to be. Or if you've just fallen and you're right about being in love, then think about when you were really wrong and you were running to meet your girlfriend or your boyfriend and you stopped just before the corner so they wouldn't see that you were dashing towards them just to appear to be that you're in control of it. But of course you're not. And if you're going to testify about something, make sure it's something you actually believe in. Don't bandwagon jump. If you really think there should be no racism, it's got to be in here in your heart, then it'll come across in what you've got to say. And that's really what songwriting is about. All that we're supposed to do is to give all those people, those millions and millions of people, when we can, a few moments of time out. So all those doctors and nurses and soldiers and policemen and people cleaning the streets and emptying our bins and being teachers and being all the things that are so important in our well-being as a society we have to try and give them a moment to time out and know that somebody's thinking about them and try to make them smile. And if you can do that as a writer, what more do you want in life? Really? I'm happy to do that. I've managed to do this for... I started writing when I was 13 and a half. Wrote a song called Marie, it was about four lines. I sit by the window pane and watch the falling rain. So, you know, that's, that's how you write when you're little. 
you know what I mean? And of course, simplicity. Simplicity really, really affected me in the way that I've thought about songs. So I, I grew up through rock and roll. I was only little, but it was really affecting me because I was playing with me toys and me pals and in the background there was something like this. Oh well, goodbye, although I'll cry, ain't that a shame? And in that four lines, you've got the whole story of the song. So we try and do that if we can, so that people aren't confused or they to, what's he saying there? And sometimes people do the what's he saying there just for effect to make people so that I know something that you don't. I don't. I'm exactly the same as you out there. I'm really swimming the channel. I've got a brand new set of skates on, right? And hold up. But tell the truth if you can. And all of us fail. And we realise that we failed. And we get up again and try and say, oh well, goodbye. <laughs> Although, I'll try, you know, songwriting, it's fun. This could be the love of your life. This could be the love of your life. I suppose there's one other thing that really needs to be put into the equation. There is this perhaps unspoken, and maybe it's true with some people, but it isn't with everybody, that one has to be struggling for one's art. One has to be in a garret to be able to feel. No, I don't think that's the case. We've all been given the gift to be able to tell the truth about something. And just because you are successful or financially sound doesn't mean to say that you can't write an important and meaningful song about something that matters. You don't have to be starving to be able to understand about well, what it's like to starve. Phil Collins wrote a phenomenal song and I can't fault him. You know, he was very successful at that point. But the song about the woman on the street and a guy walking past her, it's the truth. That's what he believed. That's why it came across. When people were giving Bob Geldof grief for doing Live Aid because they thought it was a career move, that's absolute tosh. He did it, right? Because he thought he should do something. And that's all it was. And that's why it touched so many people. And the people who really complained about it or tried to undermine what he was doing by musicians who had possibly not got to where they wanted to go so it's easy to shoot down somebody who's trying to do good me you know use whatever you can to write your songs you might be bringing all the clues you might be the person that saves us it's not a competitive thing i can only see this you can see this quite clearly and if you don't tell me about it i'll always be struggling to find out what it is things that uh, has come recently is that I've not been writing very much. I've not had, not that I've not had the inspiration, but as you know, if you've heard any of my music, it's kind of the things that I've written, they tend to be quite socially orientated. Basically, I'm trying to write about making it a little bit better. So I've been doing that all my life. So when you're writing things like Who is Innocent and it's like 30 years ago or Manchester Boys, which is nearly 40 years ago, 
there's no need for me to write it because everybody's faced with it right now. So me saying, well, I told you, would be seen as being arrogant. And also, it would be possibly seen that I was doing some bandwagon jumping. A friend of mine once said, another musician said, I'm trying to get the exact word, now let me get this. Uh, it's not like anger is an energy, but what he's saying, he said, he said something like, rebellion is a platitude. I think that's what it says. You quick, we find out later and you can, you can shoot me down for it if it doesn't. But I thought, actually, no. I said, it's easy to say that when you're not in that situation. I just thought that that line didn't ring true for me because I'd experienced some of those things. And for the past 18 months, certainly for this last year, I've only written one or one and a half songs because I've pretty much said everything that I need to say or I feel that I need to say and nothing's come through me to go, oh, you should write about this. And things do. Sometimes you just sat there and a line comes in, as I said at the start, or something that you've experienced or something that you see somebody else experience, you know. So I think the important thing is not to worry if the song isn't coming and what I try to say to writers if they get stuck is get the card out write something down and read through it and you'll see there's a line there that makes absolute sense in what you're trying to say you might be describing my shoes okay it doesn't have to be anything complicated you might be talking about the moon and I think that what's happened is I'm just where I am, I'm quite happy that I've not written anything. I'm not desperate to write anything. I've got enough songs probably to do another five or six albums. But when I put my albums together, I try and make it so it's enjoyable. I don't just stick stuff because it's just happened. And I'm at the moment, I'm in the middle of writing a song at the moment. And uh, I thought maybe I should play you a little bit of it just to show you where I am. with a little glitch in the last bit, but there you go. Oh, oh, oh. And for those who really want to know, why did I write this song? I wrote it because I'm a very lucky man. Right? I have a beautiful, beautiful wife and partner called Karen. And when you're going to write something about, as a tribute to what they've been or how they've been for you, You've got to measure it seven times and cut it once. So I'm kind of three quarters away through the song, but this is the song.